to lead. It's an exciting new year. I hope you're pumped about all that's going to happen in 2022. I'm telling you, the opportunity for your leadership to go to a new level is a possibility. It'll be up to you if you are determined uh, to not just make a decision, but to make, make a decision and do something about it, right? Don't just sit on the log like the frogs did and make a decision to jump. Actually jump. Jump into this new year and grab a hold of uh, the future that God has planned for you. And, you know, I think about how that, that uh, you know, when I was a kid, in going, to, going to high school in the 1980s, to think about 2022, that sounds like Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Uh, I've, I've watched, sometimes I do this as a hobby, I'll find an old black and white movie where they were doing, they were envisioning what the future would be in the 21st century. And it is crazy the way they thought we'd have floating cars and floating cities and, you know, uh, teletransport and all that kind of stuff. Well, um, the future is now, we're here. And so I want to follow up. We, we said this in the last uh, lead that we're going to do something with culture. And so these next uh, several weeks, we're going to spend some time culture and, and uh, talking about culture at elevation. But wherever you're at, uh, you need to understand the culture and, and embrace that culture, learn the culture. Um, and these are some things that help us and I hope that they help you. And if you're on the team here at Elevation, um, it's good for you to understand this. And so today I want to talk about no silo ministry, no siloed ministry. You know, if you go out in a country in rural Indiana and, you know, and around here, well, you'll, you'll drive so far and you'll see a farm and, and there's that big tower that you see. And, and then you'll look over at another farm distant away there'll be another one and some some farms may have more than one um, but they're all kind of off by themselves independent from one another they don't touch and what's in one uh, has has no impact on what's in another uh, you could I, I know they put corn in them I'm assuming they put soybeans in silos even though I'm in Indiana I don't know this but uh, the corn in one silo is in that silo and it's not in the other side you understand that there's this whole separation it's over here and that's over here and everything has its space and place and there's no there's no crossing and i think that wow for a farm that probably works great i'm not a farmer i don't know all the purpose in all of that i know it's a storage bin and storage space but i don't know all the purpose in it but it probably makes a lot of sense to do it that way in ministry when you have several teams, several people, many people, we, we looked at Elevation, uh, 90 people in the last quarter of the year served somewhere on a team at Elevation Church. Well, that's crazy, crazy good. I'd love to see that increase. But uh, if all of those people are in a silo or if groups of those people are siloed just together and there's no, I'm gonna use this word, across uh, pollen, pollinization, well, uh, we're going to be limited in what we do. And, and I think there should never be silos in ministry, that we should uh, cross each other's paths, that we should work together, that we should share resources, share, share our ideas and communicate with one another, because that's when ministry happens. Uh, you know, I talk all about team. Uh, team, uh, I think I made this up, but I could have got it from somebody. I've used it for so many years. But team, together, everyone accomplishes ministry. It doesn't happen with one person doing it or a few people doing it. And it doesn't happen when we're not in the loop and we're not aware of what each other is doing. It's not, you know, right hand doesn't tell the left hand in ministry. It's like we do it together. We do it together. And, you know, even with staff, we write job descriptions, but those job descriptions are just to help us. And it's not the end all, it's those are going to cross over. And sometimes we'll get the opportunity to help in another ministry and we're going to bring something to the table that maybe they were lacking or that they needed or they're going to help us. It's so important that we work together, not in silos. So there's not ABC ministry here and DEF over here and XYZ over there, but we're doing it together. And there are some things that we're going to do that are independent, but when we have the opportunity, I want to tell you, it's a beautiful thing when it's seamless. And that's why uh, the writer in Psalm says how beautiful it is when, the, when, the, when people dwell together in unity. 
right? That there's a flow that we're together, no silos. I encourage you, look around and just inspect your own uh, efforts and your uh, what you're doing and just make sure that you're not in a silo, that we are working together.